today and today we're going to have a game of sport of kings on the commodore 64 now this is a game i had back in the day on the amstrad cpc 464 and what this is it's a virtual betting game yes i think i think my mother bought this game back in the day for the cpc um it was a 199 game. No, it wouldn't be something I would go out and buy. I think my mum bought it for some reason. She did buy a few games back in the day when she was in Boots or WH Smiths. Um, yeah, so I had it for the CPC. Anyway, let's not talk about the past. Let's talk about a game from the past. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's all about the past, isn't it? All those nostalgic memories come flooding back, even though it was on the CPC version I had. But anyway, we're viewing it on the Commodore 64, and right, let's go. So what this is, you use your joystick. Do you want to see the instructions? No, because I basically know how to play the game. Do you want to load save game? No. So how many horses in a season? 25. I doubt very much we're going to be playing all 25 seasons. Our weight's going to affect the results. Yes, is the going to affect is the going and to affect it's all horse racing terms which i don't know about our oh, jockey is going to affect results no yes do you want a kitty i thought this was horse racing not fucking cat racing no i know what it means it's do you want a kitty it didn't ask that i don't think that asked that question on the cpc though um yeah of course i'm gonna have a kitty i need some money don't i so you can have up to five players I think in the CPC version it could have been six or eight, I can't remember now. Um, it's just me, one player, so oh you can oh you can type it, excellent. It takes me doing all the bullshit. Um how much do you want to start in the key? Right, we're just gonna make it simple. So you can type it, fucking fantastic. You couldn't do that on the CPC version. Right, so we're gonna keep it a hundred pound because it's only a review at the end of the day. Do you want to auto run races? Ah, so you can use yes and no, right. So I think you got used to put, right, so the bookies is where you go and book, you put place your bets. Form book, that tells you about, um, obviously no form cards because we ain't raced yet. I think this tells you um, about the race, what's going to happen. Well, what's going to happen the next coming race. So it tells you all the odds of the horses. Right, so that will auto run the race if you don't want to do any betting. If you've got a printer connect up, you can print your things out. Now this, if you're halfway through the game or any point in the game, you can add additional players if you want or remove players, which is a good feature. This tells you how much money you've got in your bank so we've got 100 pounds this is a save option or a load option and it could be a no because it's just a save option because you load it when you um start the game or whatever yeah so okay we're going to go to the bookies everything starts on at six to one right so first of all we're just gonna go do an each way bet so I think it can come first, second or third or something like that. So we're going to choose one horse and there's other betting options you can choose. About two horses and all different types of betting styles. You can do a win if you think your horse is going to win. If you think you're out. You've got a chance of a winning horse, you know, you can do a complete win bet and you obviously win more money. Um, so let's have a look at the horses. There's nine horses in total in this race. So all six to one. So let's just go to... I don't know Apollo and let's do a, let's just start off with a 20 pounds oh I can type I keep forgetting I can type it total 40 so am I playing the computer or something right so I picked Apollo now I've got to admit the graphics did look better on this part on the CPC but we didn't have that ambulance at the bottom and we did have a commentator right so we didn't have all the background stuff or did we 
I can't remember. I have reviewed the CPC version. Oh look, we get animation look in this version. So we didn't get that in the CPC version. Right. So where's my horse? It's not in the lead. So two furlongs to go. One furlong to go. I think the ambulance is going to win this. <laughs> Well, it's only me. So only me is going to win this, and only me didn't win nothing. Um, so photo for third. Okay, photo finish for third. Okay, there are payouts. Fuck all for me though. Right, let's have a look. Let's go to the bookie again. So now the odds all change. So I tend to go for the higher odds because you never know. So top hat seven to one or revolver seven to one. Um, but only me obviously got one so the odds are lower but you get um, less of a payout so let's go for a win bet and let's go for only me and let's bet 20 pounds I can type it this is the beauty about this version you can type it you don't have to use the joystick Right, so only me. Oh! So, so we got Easy Win, Lust Fall, Top Hat, Rob Roy, Lily, Brilling, Zippo, and Revolver. You fucking watch Revolver win now because I fucking didn't bet on it. Well, it ain't only me at the moment. Oh, hang on, here it comes. Here it comes. Um, only me who's in, the, who's in the lead, Lily. So I went for a win bet here, so that was a mistake. So I totally fucked that up, didn't I? Yeah, I think it's a bit of fun here to have, you know, virtual betting. You're not exactly spending any money. I bet the, the real bettors ain't watching this game, though. <laughs> They're in the betting shop. Yeah, betting you, better than you than me, mate. I'd rather play this game and go into my betting shop and waste all my money. Right, so Lily come first. The payouts are nothing for me. Just remember one thing. The bookie always wins. Just remember that. The bookie always wins. Even though you might think you've won some thousand pounds. Just the bookie always wins. Just remember that. Right. So, so this is a seven horse race. I think that in the CPC version, um, the horses were all at the same amount. I think it was eight horses in total, each race. Right, so only me. Um, no, I'm not betting on you, you've fucked up this time. So let's push, let's go for, um, let's go for Ratter. So let's go for an each way bet this time for, um, so let's go for Ratter. Four to one. So let's bet, I don't know, another 20 pounds. So I should only have 40 pounds left if I lose this fucking race. So where am I? What did I bet Ratter? So, ooh, hang on. Ratter's, ooh, come on, this. For wake, oh, here we go. Phil Hip, Phil Hip. Yeah, oh, hang on, hang on, Ratter. Come on, Ratter. Oh, come on, Ratter. Oh, he's just slightly, yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, it's an each, typical, it's an each way bet now. So, oh, it could win, no. It could win, it could win. Come on, come on, come on, come on, keep your, keep your head, Ratter, yes. Oh, two furlongs to go. Yes. Should have just bet on the fucking ambulance. That always wins. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, no. No, only me is taking the lead. I should have bet on that bastard horse. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now I'm fucking third. Oh, hang on. He's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, it's, oh no. That Rob Roy's coming. Oh, fucked. <laughs> That's a photo finish for third. Oh, fuck off. Rob Roy got third. Bastard! Bastard! Right, let's have a look. Let's 
right what's the next race okay don't need to look at that let's have a look at the form book king leo apollo apollo has two form cards right okay horse racing fanatics might know all this shit i don't <laughs> so how much have i got in the bank hang on a minute how the hell have I got two hundred pounds? Your share is two hundred pounds. The kitty is two hundred pounds. You have lost a hundred pounds. I don't get that. What's going on? I only started off with hundred pounds and I lost sixty. So how the fuck have I got two hundred pounds? I don't get that. So I've got two hundred pounds so let's go for let's go for um a place i think you can hang on place i don't know let's place 100 pounds hang on 100 pounds Well, what have I pl what, what's, what's happened? I've just done a place. But I'm, I don't know what's going on with the money situation. That's all over the place. It's, I don't get it. Now, this is the second time I'm actually reviewing this game because the first time I tried it, an I tried another ROM and I thought the game was fucked. And so I quit, stopped the review because I, there was so, something going on with the money also. So uh, this is another ROM and it's doing the same thing. So I don't get it. I don't get what's going on with the money there. Something weird is going on. I keep getting more money. So He Man's in the lead. And I don't know what I've done with that place. What did I do? I don't know. The payouts are fuck all. Right. Uh, so what about money now? See, I've got three hundred quid, and I've lost two hundred quid. What the fuck's going on? Book it. Right. Let's go for a forecast bet. Right. So this is a six horse race. So we go for. Let's go for no head. And he man, and we're going to bet three hundred quid. So six horse race. I like the fact you get different, um, uh, more horses in one, less horses in another. So it does mix it up a bit with this game. CPC version was pr pretty much every event was eight horses. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't get what's going on with the money here. Really, don't get what's going on with the money. Is that something to do with having a kitty? Maybe. Maybe my kitty's got unlimited money. I don't know. You didn't have that. I'm sure you didn't have that option on the CPC version. I'm sure you didn't have that option. Okay, so oh no, hero and he man. Oh, hey, he man. There yeah, no pa oh no, didn't. Right. So how much money have I got now? I've got six hundred pounds. You've lost five hundred pounds. The kitty is six hundred pounds. Your share is six hundred pounds. What's what's going on then? I, I don't get it. Right, let's go for a, a win bet. Right, we're going to go for Zippo because it's the highest stakes. Just push two and let's go for £600. Because I really don't get what's going on. Unless that's got something to do with a kitty. But I will make this one the last bet. Because you can actually, you, you see how this game plays. It's basically. Um, you're just betting on your hall. It's just betting, basically, virtual betting on different races. And as I said, if you don't want to bet on a race, 
you just push that X and you'll just go straight into the go into the race without betting. So it's an option if you don't want to bet, I guess. <laughs> if you don't like the um, the horses, I don't know. The, I don't know. You got your reasons. <laughs> but you know, it's not a bad game. Maybe I should have tried it without that kitty. Maybe it would have changed the dynamic of the game. Maybe it would have made it so you start if you got hundred pounds. If you lose that hundred pounds, that's it. Maybe that kitty's fucked everything up. So now I've got twelve hundred pounds. So every time I lose money, I get double the money. I just what's going on here? I don't know. Surely it can't. The game can't be cracked. So it must be something to do with the kitty, right? So as I said, you push the X and you just go into the race. So this would have been the twelve horse race. Yeah, um, it's not a bad game actually. I, I actually did enjoy this on the CPC back in the day. Um, now I don't. As I said, I don't know what's going on with the money situation here. The money just keeps going up and up and up. I don't know. If that's got, as I said, if is that got anything to do with the, having a kitty? Maybe I should have turned that option off and see what happened. Oh well, the review's done now. So okay, yeah, it's not a bad game. It's not a bad game if you like these sort of things. Um, I do prefer the graphics on the CPC version. I thought they look nicer, but you know, it's still okay to play on this. Anyway. Gonna end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.